Hey there, so in this video, I don't have a lucid chart, I don't have something big to walk you through, but this is more of an insight that has come to me after a call I just had. So I just had a really good, you know, I had a two hour conversation over the last 24 hours with this guy. And, you know, a SaaS founder doing his thing, building his company day in and day out, he's actually spent over seven years building, building the product, right? Building up his SaaS. And what I noticed is that being being busy, right? Just just doing a bunch of different things is not actually promoting an outcome, if that makes sense. So don't, in other words, don't just spend your time trying to be busy to, to build up something, right? To continue to say, hey, look, I'm checking off checklists and like I'm growing this thing, right? Because that's not actually going to get you somewhere, right? That's just an illusion that being busy, that doing multiple actions are actually leading to an outcome, right? So what I want you to take away and what I want you to learn from this is that be focused on that outcome, right? And continue to grow, right? This is this is coming from, I see this way too often. It's that there are people building out their company as a, as a single founder. And this can kill your business because of a couple of reasons. Like number one, as a founder that that is doing everything, if you're coding, if you're, if you're managing the prospect, if you're managing new customers, outreach, uh, organic, right, content, as well as, you know, actually building the app, running the app, figuring out onboarding, right, figuring out how to decrease churn. If you're doing all this stuff, it's not going to be at a high level of quality, even if you're very smart, even if you're the best, right, you also need to take a vacation, you also need to go have a life, you know, do some exercise, get out of your house, like do something, right, you will go crazy if you're just a single founder. So I really don't recommend this route. And I also see that you know, number two is that this is about ego. It's not about business at this point. It's not about making money. It's not about it's not about bringing value to the world at, at a certain point. Because if you, as a founder, want to grow, then step one is taking yourself out of the picture. Right? Is 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 removing yourself from every little small task? Because not all tasks are created equal. That's why busyness exists. That's why to-do lists that are just a line, a huge line of items, that's why it doesn't actually help you. It's because it's not prioritized, right? The first thing that we do when we work with companies is we go in and use our moon splash technique. And what that is, is essentially starting with every single action that we need to create, right? To stop us from failure. And once we've created that, we create the action items of what that is, break it down. And then we put it into a prioritization sheet and we understand which tasks are we doing have the largest output, right? The largest impact on your business and which are the ones that are easiest, right? We look at the ease level, right? The the difficulty grade plus or multiplied with a weighted average of the actual impact, right? So we look at this on every single level. And once we do that, we're able to decide, okay, cool. Now we know we need to scale and do this thing, right? We need to change the guarantee. We need to change the offer because it's really easy to do and it will be implemented very quickly, right? So if we can understand that, if we can understand this flow of events and which ones actually have an impact, then we're able to generate results much quicker because we look at things that are high impact and easy to do. Then we look at things that are high impact, difficult to do. Then we look at things that are easy to do, you know, low impact, and then things that are hard to do, low impact, right? So that's the general flow. And that's like the easiest thing you can do to break down, right? So in the context of this founder that I was just talking to, he has amazing, amazing organic search traffic, right? People are really coming in, 15, 20,000 people per month are just signing up for his platform. Now, there is a 99% churn rate. That is, see, that's crazy to me. How are people searching organically for your product, right? And then and they don't stick around. That's a product problem. That is an onboarding problem. That is a value proposition problem, right? I, I, it's hard for me to believe that all of the traffic that was organically searching for your solution doesn't actually want that, right? That's that's really hard for me to understand. So when I when I approached this, I said, look, we don't like normally we would probably start with running ads, we would build out some systems, we build out automations, but you know what he needs? He doesn't need to have any more traffic. Like throwing more money at the problem, throwing ads, throwing more impressions, eyeballs, that's actually not the solution in this case, right? The solution is him actually building a full company and having SDRs, having uh, BDRs, right? Having people that are going to actually do the sales process for him because he wants to build the product and develop further. 
So take this as an insight. Understand what are you good at, right? As a, as a leader, as a person in your company, as a generally, what, what are the things that you enjoy doing that get you excited waking up every day, right? And once you can figure those things out, then move on and figure out, all right, what positions do I need to fill that are most valuable now? Because I started out doing outreach myself, trying to figure out how to build this thing a couple of years ago. It was horrible. It was horrible if I didn't do a day of outreach. Oh man, you know, like nothing would happen, right? And I was working myself, you know, day in and day out. So that basically got me to a point where it was just impossible to, to continue to build at this level. So what I want you to understand is that in order to grow, in order to create a SaaS that's going to have lasting power and can, you know, live up to that six, seven, eight multiple revenue multiple, and eventually down the line to sell, no one's going to invest in one person, right? Imagine going to the bank tomorrow and saying, hey, I need you to pay me this year's salary tomorrow, right? I, I work at a restaurant or I work in whatever, I'm a banker, pay me, pay me my whole year's salary today. And I promise you, I'm going to work, I'm going to work really hard, right? Like, what business would say yes to that? Because you know what they care about? Future cash flow, right? The potential of your business to grow in the future. And this is impossible if you're a one person, it's, it's very difficult if you're a one person, one man band, right? If you're one person running the show, super difficult because there is not a predictable stream of revenue unless your software is already locked in. You have people coming in, there's not a high churn rate and revenue is increasing month over month, right? Which I can guarantee you is just not happening with, uh, with most people out there. So that's what I want to just put out there for you right now is that you know, if you're a single founder listening to this message and you're thinking, hey, what the, what the heck? Like, this is me. This is exactly my situation. Then you know what? Go out there, you know, book in a call with our team. We will walk you through which positions you need to be putting into place right now. Even if you don't have a lot of cash right now, there are ways in which you can do this to make it actually work so that you can grow your business ASAP, right? And this is not something that, you know, we're making money on. This is literally just how do you, how do you grow your business, right? How do you be, create a, an asset that can grow in the future? Right. My goal and from what we've done so far with SaaS companies is, you know, we, we have equity. We've, we've like actually grown companies where a true growth partner and have partnered with these companies to grow them. Right. So my goal is to get you to a point where we would actually want to be a part and grow with you. Right. And so that's just a message that I'm seeing coming up more and more frequently. And these look, the, to be fair, these are companies that are already at 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 K in MRR. Right. And they're having these trouble uh, problems. Right. So even if they have a small team, even if you're you're getting into this, I need you to hear this message to focus in on building the right things. Start focusing on building the company, not building, you know, getting in into the into the details of your company, right? So focus on building actual momentum, leverage by doing tasks that are hundred thousand, hundred twenty, you know, like ten thousand dollar an hour tasks not the $5 hour task or the $0 an hour tasks like scrolling on social media, et cetera, right? So focus on the right things, bring the right people, put them into place and understand that, you know, you do need to hire. You do need to have more people, right? And hire people that are better at you, that are, that are better than you in certain tasks, right? There's no point in hiring people that are at the same level as you because it's impossible to scale at that point. So, that is it for this video. Hopefully you were able to take something away. Now, if you want to learn more and get more in-depth uh, insights into what we've been building and what we've learned over the last couple of years of scaling multiple SaaS companies, right? There's a $500,000 per month framework in the SaaS scaling framework that we have built out. It is a full-on webinar below. It's two and a half hours long. It's a full-on movie and there are some really great insights in there and data which you can take away and implement right now just based on what I've told you today. Um, so go ahead, claim that below, just uh, click the link and you will get access to that. And if you wanna speak with the team and understand how can you actually scale if you're stuck around the 10 to 15K mark and wanna go much further in terms of MRR, we've scaled companies from 300 bucks a month to 75K plus in MRR in just four months, right? So it's really possible, you know, just getting the things right, focusing on the right things to grow is a possibility for you. So. That's it. Hope you have a great day and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.